Today, we are going to explore one of the most fascinating and elusive questions in all of science. Is there life beyond Earth, our solar system, or our galaxy? Thank you for watching and enjoy. The search for extraterrestrial life is not only a scientific endeavor, but also a philosophical and cultural one. It challenges our assumptions about our place in the cosmos and our relationship with other living beings. It also inspires our imagination and creativity as we wonder what forms of life might exist out there and how they might differ from us. But how do we go about finding life in the vastness of space? What are the signs and signals that scientists look for? And what are the chances that we are not alone in this universe? To answer these questions, we need to understand what life is and what conditions are necessary for it to emerge and thrive. Life as we know it is based on carbon, water, and energy. Carbon is the most versatile element in the periodic table, capable of forming complex molecules that are essential for biological processes. It is also one of the most common elements in the universe. Water is the universal solvent, allowing chemical reactions to take place, as well as the ability to transport nutrients and waste. Energy is the driving force of life, providing the means for metabolism, growth, and reproduction. These three ingredients are abundant in our solar system and beyond. Scientists have detected water in the atmospheres of exoplanets, planets around other stars, and in some of the icy moons of Jupiter and Saturn here in our own solar system. Scientists have also found organic molecules, the building blocks of life in meteorites, comets, and interstellar clouds, and they have observed various sources of energy, from stellar radiation to geothermal heat that could power life in different environments. But having the ingredients is not enough. Life also needs a stable and hospitable environment where it can evolve and adapt over time. This depends on many factors, such as the size, orbit, and composition of the planet the type and activity of the star, and the presence and protection of an atmosphere. One important factor is the habitable zone, which is the range of distances from the star where the temperature is just right for liquid water to exist on the surface. Too close and the water will boil away. Too far and it will freeze. But the habitable zone is not a fixed boundary, but a dynamic and complex region that varies depending on the characteristics of the star and the planet. For example, a planet with a thick atmosphere or a strong greenhouse effect could retain more heat and expand its habitable zone. A planet with a large moon or a neighboring planet could experience tidal forces that generate internal heat and prevent freezing. A planet with a magnetic field or an ozone layer could shield itself from harmful radiation and prevent atmospheric loss. These factors all change a planet's ideal habitable zone. So how many planets in our galaxy meet these criteria? How many of them are in the habitable zone and have the potential to support life? Thanks to the advances in astronomy and technology, scientists have been able to detect and study thousands of exoplanets using methods such as the transit and the radial velocity techniques. These methods measure tiny changes in the brightness and the motion of stars caused by the presence and the orbit of a planet. Scientists estimate that there are between 100 and 400 billion stars in our galaxy alone. Out of these stars, it is estimated that one out of every 10 may have an Earth-like planet orbiting around it. This would mean that about 10 to 40 billion of these stars could have Earth-like planets in their habitable zones. And that's not counting the possibility of life on larger 
or smaller planets, or on moons, asteroids, or even rogue planets that wander the galaxy without a star. Let's also take a moment to think about the sheer scale of the universe we live in. How many stars are there in the universe? How many worlds are there waiting to be discovered? How many wonders are there waiting to be revealed? Scientists estimate that there are about two trillion galaxies in the observable universe. Each of these galaxies may contain more or less stars than our galaxy, the Milky Way. This means there are more stars than we could ever possibly imagine with our human minds. And each of these stars is a sun, a source of light and heat, a center of gravity, and a potential host of planets. Each star has a story, a history, and so many possibilities. Of course, not all of the planets around stars are guaranteed to have life or have life that we could recognize or communicate with. Life might be rare or common or somewhere in between. It might be simple or complex or something else entirely. It might be similar to us or completely different. We don't know yet. Scientists have not found any conclusive evidence of life beyond Earth, but they are looking, listening, and constantly learning. One of the ways scientists are looking for life is by analyzing the spectra of exoplanet atmospheres. This is done by using various instruments, including the James Webb Space Telescope. By observing the wavelengths of light that are absorbed or emitted by the gases in the atmosphere, scientists can infer the chemical composition and the temperature of the planet. They can also look for biosignatures, the distinctive fingerprints of life, such as oxygen, methane, or chlorophyll. Another way scientists are looking for life is by sending probes and rovers to explore the surfaces and the subsurfaces of other worlds in our solar system, such as Mars, Europa, and Enceladus. These missions aim to collect and analyze samples and to search for signs of past or present life, such as fossils, organic molecules, or microbial activity. And another way scientists are looking for life is by listening for signals from intelligent civilizations using projects such as SETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. By scanning the sky for radio waves, optical pulses, or other forms of communication, they hope to detect and decode messages from other beings, and perhaps even establish contact with them. But so far, they have not heard or seen anything that confirms the existence of life beyond Earth. They have not found any biosignatures, or any unmistakable signals, or any undeniable artifacts. So far, they have only found silence, emptiness, and mystery. Does this mean that we are alone in the universe? That we are the only ones who have ever asked this question, and the only ones who are searching for the answer? Or does it mean that we are not looking hard enough, or not looking in the right places, or not looking in the right ways? Or does it mean that life is out there, but is too different, or too distant, or too discreet? for us humans to detect it. We don't know yet, but we are certainly not giving up. Humanity continues to search, to wonder, and to dream, because we are born curious, adventurous, and science never runs from the unknown. We are part of a community, a civilization, a species that shares this passion, this vision, this mission. If we all work together, support each other, and continue to inspire each other, we may find the answer to this burning question. Humanity is using science, technology, and our creativity to expand our horizons and to push our boundaries and to challenge our limits. This is not just a scientific question, but a human question. A question that matters to all of us and that affects all of us. 
a question that connects us, unites us, and helps define us. What does this mean for the possibility of other life out there? Well, it means that the universe is incredibly vast, diverse, and full of potential. It means that the universe is full of wonder, exploration, and discovery. The universe is our home, our origin, and our place to explore. It is a part of us, as we are a part of it. Is there life beyond Earth? We may not know yet, but I can't help but think that there is likely other life out there in the infinite ocean of space. Thank you for joining me on this journey. I truly hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to show your support with a thumbs up or by sharing this video with someone else who may enjoy it. I would also love to hear your thoughts on life beyond Earth in the comments below. If you would like to see more videos like this in the future, feel free to subscribe. Thanks again. Until next time, take care and be well.